You love it alive. And Happy New Year from South Florida, the Orange Bowl in Miami, home of the 59th Federal Express Orange Bowl, and the Nebraska Cornhuskers kicking it off to start the game. Don Cricky with Bob Trumpy in. John Dockery as the great freshman kick returner Tamarik Vanover has to down the ball and a very deep kickoff by Byron Bennett. The coach Tom Osborne and his Nebraska Cornhuskers coming in as a substantial underdog to the ACC champions led by the great junior quarterback Charlie Ward. Sean Jackson's his runner. William Floyd will get the ball some primarily a blocker. Vanover's a sensation at wide receiver. And the offensive line is very fast. Not as big as Nebraska's, but these guys can all run. Florida State, a program built on speed. They go to the fast break offense to start the game. The shotgun offense. This is Charlie Ward. Dropping to throw on first down. Looking deep at Vanover. And then he throws over the middle. The ball was intended to Kez McCorvey, number 88, as Nebraska Trump got the big rush on. The uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers started down with six defensive backs, a five-man front, and a dime package behind it. And an update, the IBM OS2 Fiesta Bowl. Syracuse prevails over sixth-ranked Colorado, 26-22. to 22. After the missed first down throw, Ward sets himself for the 15-yard line. Second down and 10. Quick out pattern. Charlie Ward off target on his second throw. This time he was going to Kevin Knox. As we look at the Huskers on defense, they're big and tough. John Perella, NFL scouts think he'll be a standout there. David Noon in the nose tackle, Moore a pass rusher. Travis Hill is a first-team All-American, a terrific outside backer. Rev Alberts, Mike Anderson, and Ed Stewart. Very good players. And the linebacker core of Nebraska in the secondary. They're not used to a lot of pass offense. They see the run mostly in the Big 8. And now here comes a third consecutive pass. Or does it? Charlie Ward is on the run. Can they get to him? They cannot. Charlie Ward breaks it. He's across the 45-yard line. And slides to a halt all the way out at the 49. So on third and 10, the ever-dangerous Charlie Ward breaks a big one, Trump. 26 from yards. From behind the offense, you see the two back set. First two downs, they go with a shotgun on. Third and long, they bring in the two backs. But this is the secret weapon. We've got a flag on the play. Ooh. It's coming it back against Florida State. But uh, Charlie Ward, the kid they call the choir boy, is the third running back in that uh, Florida State backfield. Flag back to the 20-yard line. Illegal formation on the offense. Five-yard penalty. Repeat third down. Bill Gross, our referee, this is the Southeastern Conference officiating team. So the big run by Charlie Ward now is negated on the penalty call. And again, third down arises. This time they need 15. Tom Osborne wanted a lot of blitzing on Charlie Ward, but it has to be a contained blitz. If you come all out recklessly, he'll just sidestep and break the big play as he just did, the one that was called back. Ward with a deep drop looking to screen the ball out. He does. Nebraska is there, though, to shut it down at the 25-yard line. Sean Jackson got the ball, got ahead for a 10-yard gain on the screen pass play. And Terry Keneally, a nose tackle, was on the stop for the Huskers. So, Florida State stalls on its opening drive, and Coach Bowden sends out his kicking team. But that's a good sample of the Florida State offense. This is a very difficult offense if you're standing across the line of scrimmage from it. Really figure out exactly what they're going to do. Passing situations they run. They like the screen and, of course, the fast break shotgun. Not a great punting game for Florida State, as you see. Nebraska is one of the best in the country. Wimberley's kick is going to take a hop that a tear him out of bounds at about the 48-yard line. So Nebraska's first offensive set will come with good field position. Just a 27-yard punt. And here comes the Nebraska offense. Tommy Frazier, a true freshman quarterback, very consistent, very smart, mistake-free young player. 100 passes, only one intercepted. Ten have been for touchdowns. Their running game averages almost six yards a carry for the third time. In the last four years, Nebraska is the number one rushing team in America, but they opened Trump with a spread formation. Now, this is something we expected them to do to try to loosen up the defense of Florida State. Three wide receivers set to the near side. A quick out. Frazier connects with his man. Running high to the ball is Corey Dixon, and he breaks it inside the 35-yard line. 
big block by Calvin Jones, the running back, a 19-yard play on first down. Even though it's a pass, Don, this is a screen. Great sell job by Tommy Frazier. Excellent blocks out in front. Dixon gets up underneath the first one. 19 easy yards on the opening play of the game for the Cornhuskers. So after the 27-yard punt, Nebraska comes out, gets the quick out. And Corey Dixon takes it ahead. And now Nebraska goes first and 10 at the 33-yard line of Florida State. Pitch back, well done by the quarterback, Frazier. And by the running back, taking the ball ahead was Calvin Jones. Big Dan Footman was the lead tackler, and then All-American Marvin Jones hit him. Uh, one of the things that Tom Osborne was concerned about was good footing here in the Orange Bowl field. Been raining for the last couple of three days, and with the option, you need to be able to turn up as you watch Marvin Jones, shade tree, overrun Calvin Jones. Jones with a nice pickup. The last time these two teams met was in the 1990 Fiesta Bowl. Florida State unhandily, 41-17. Frazier, that was a call play. Quarterback Keith. And right there to get him was Sterling Palmer, a huge backer. Don, to consider how far this Frazier kid has come. 365 days ago, he was introduced as one of the 24 best Florida high school football players at the Citrus Bowl at halftime. Now, 365 days later, he starts for Nebraska in the Orange Bowl. And he's back in his home state. Tommy Frazier's from Bradenton, Florida. Went on a recruiting visit to Nebraska. Now we see what the Huskers will go to. Third down and six, brought on the 29-yard line. Frazier with a quick rollout. Loads the rush. Takes it ahead and dives very close but short. Oh, the first down. He's inside the 25-yard line, taken down by linebacker Ken Alexander, number 36. Nice rollout here, but uh, Florida State did a good job on defense. This was going to be a shovel pass. Watch the running back turn around, Calvin Jones. 44 was going to get it, but Frazier, who uh, everybody you talk to at Florida State says, this kid does not play like a freshman, keeps the ball, goes on a rollout for positive yardage. They're going for it on fourth down, Don. Indeed they are. Need one yard. All position inside the 25-yard line of FSU. No score. This is Nebraska's first possession after stopping Florida State. Frazier turns it up, turns it ahead. He didn't get there. Marvin Jones. A great play by a player that many pro scouts say is the best defensive player in America. Linebacker Marvin Jones. Here's Jones. It's the reverse by the quarterback into the boundary. They run the option. And Jones with that cat-like quickness, look at that read, directly at the quarterback. Absolutely remarkable. You can't teach that to a kid. No quarterback, uh, excuse me, no coach in the world would admit to teaching that to Marvin Jones. That's just the way he plays. Have you noticed that keeping up with your competition has gotten tougher? Morning, dear. Well, maybe it's because your competition has gotten tougher to keep up with. Good morning. Because he's using Express Freighter from Federal Express. It's the only way to get shipments from around the world sent overnight by 10.30 the next morning. So don't wait until things get out of hand. Use Express Freighter from Federal Express. It has a 10-cylinder 400 horsepower engine and seats up to 70. It hits over 1G on a skid pad and has an available built-in child seat. Its front fenders resist dents and chips. It has 133 sound deadeners, silencers, baffles, and mufflers. And there's room in back for 49 bags of groceries. Caravan, Viper, and Intrepid. The new Dodge. It's almost as if someone once said, just in case people like sunshine and water, We'd better make Florida. And we'd better make miles of beautiful beaches and places like St. Augustine and Key West, just in case people want to go to them. There are over 4 million miles of roads in Alamo territory all across America. And nationwide, only Alamo gives you all those miles for free, including the ones that run through a state that's named after sunshine. The Federal Express Orange Bowl is brought to you by Federal Express. For documents, packages, and freight worldwide, our most important package is yours. 
by Alamo. There are over 4 million miles of roads in Alamo territory. And with Alamo, all those miles are free. By Nicoderm, nicotine transdermal system. Ask your doctor about Nicoderm. And by the new Dodge, a division of the Chrysler Corporation. This is Don Crickey with Bob Trumpy back at the 1993 Federal Express Orange Bowl. And on the sidelines covering the game for us is John Dockery. Doc? You know, Don, you were speculating about weather conditions, near-perfect weather conditions here tonight. A slight breeze at Nebraska's back. Had they tried that 41-yard field goal, they would have gotten a little bit of help, but not that much. Conditions near-perfect. Back to you. And obviously the question is, why didn't Tom Osborne try for three points there? Yeah, I know he wants to go ahead. We both know that. He's trying to get that first score. And now they go to the run to the Seminoles, and Tiger McMillan, a small, quick running back, takes it ahead. This, David uh, White tackled him. Excuse me, Don. Uh, this offense that Florida State runs is a combination of a lot of uh, different football teams. The hurry up from Sam White at Tampa, the shallow crosses from Sam Ritigliano at Liberty Baptist. That's right. And uh, Charlie Ward is in charge of it all. It's hand signals uh, to the offensive lineman and to the receivers. Second down play call coming up now for Ward. Seminoles beat six. Again, he gets time. Throws the out pattern in a fine defensive play. The ball was thrown to Shannon Baker. And Tyrone Hughes, who plays both ways. Tyrone Hughes, a great kick returner. Coach Osborne says there's not anything he can't do for us out there. That time, he made the stop after a two-yard game. Boy, they're certainly paying this kid a lot of respect, Nebraska. Six defensive backs stay in the game. they got a five-man front and six defensive backs. Actually, it's a four-man front with one linebacker, 96 white, is kind of a spy against him. Valley Ward has thrown the ball two times, four times. It's completed two, and here's a fine play. Good for a first down as Tamaric Vanover goes up for the ball. That was the fifth throw of the game by 17, Charlie Ward. His third completion, the first for any real yardage. Uh, Vanover was very lazy out of that break, Don. This, this was very close to an interception. You can see excellent coverage there by Kenny Wilhite. Of course, uh, we got to qualify what we say about Vanover. This kid is, he's a pup. He's a true freshman. They're just learning what this kid can do in football. He's at the top of your screen. They're going to go deep to him again any time. They really want to get the ball to Vanover deep. And here on the runner, Ward, as he fires it out, taking it down is Tiger McMillan. But David White again comes across the field, a linebacker with great lateral speed, and he runs the play down. Uh, Don, as you look at this defense that uh, Nebraska is running, they respect the six defensive backs, and here's another aspect of it. Uh, from behind the offense, I was going to try to show you the spy there, but look at the quickness. Just tremendous quickness. Of course, this kid's a point guard for Florida State's uh, basketball team. Pat Kennedy loves him. That Coach Osborne said, we know about his basketball, and we wish he was playing it. He will be after this game. Here's a blitz, and somehow... Tyrone Hughes can't take him down, but he's quickly finished off as Charlie Ward as more blitzers are coming, and there's a penalty marker down at the line of scrimmage. This and Neely was also on a play, Trump. Don, this, uh, here's the call, offsides defense. This uh, Nebraska defense known as a very, very aggressive defense. Here's the man who comes up with the blitz on Charlie Ward. Uh, they're really pumping a lot of people out of the defensive backfield right into Charlie Ward's face. Tyrone Hughes does, in fact, make the sack, but it doesn't count because of the penalty. And the penalty gives Florida State a first down. There's no score. Eight minutes and 58 seconds to play in the first quarter of this 1993 Federal Express Orange Bowl, a place of heartbreak for Coach Tom Osborne. January 1, 1984, you may recall, his one-point loss when his team was number one in America. They went for two, didn't make it. Miami won the game in his first national championship. 31-30. Here is look at Charlie Ward weaving his way through tacklers. And again, David White is able to contain him. Now we'll come back and now show you the aspect of this defense. Here's David White right here. His sole responsibility. Watch where Charlie Ward goes. And wherever he goes, go with him. He does, in fact, make the tackle here. You see him blitzing. He's watching for Charlie Ward. And there he gets a hold of a leg. Now we come back to live action on second down and 10. Ward fires to the outside. But Corby takes the ball. And he's taken down with a face mask tackle by Toby Wright. 
And that will tack on yardage as the Florida State drive will continue with penalty yardage. Little out pattern. And Corby gets away, and there's the face mask on. Actually, actually, I don't know that he grabs the face mask, but his head bounced back so quickly that the official on the sideline grabbing the face mask by the defense. He got, it. He got it. First down. He got, he got the bar on the top of the helmet. Certainly not intentional by Wright. Early in this game, Nebraska, after a short punt by Florida State on the opening possession, moved the ball all the way down inside the 25-yard line of FSU. The Huskers went for a first down on fourth and one. They didn't get there. The great Marvin Jones made the stop. Now, Florida State, with its super-powered offense, is starting to move. Ward lofting a long ball. Nobody near it. The closest man to it was Tyrone Hughes. Putting the heat on was inside linebacker Ed Stewart. Uh, Kez McCorvey was the intended receiver. He slipped. Uh, a lot of things Charlie Ward does back here. You see the hand signals to the receivers. It's signaled into him from the sideline. He passes it along to the offense. And uh, in the last nine quarters, you see how remarkable this kid has performed. A lot of turnovers early. He threw 15 interceptions in the first seven games. And has settled in. It's the fast break offense is just what he likes. Downfield throw. He's got an open man. But unable to bring the ball in is Kez McCorvey. Tyrone Hughes was beaten on the play. Another marker down. It's against Nebraska again, Don. Roughing the passer, it appeared to be Trump. That'll be another first down for the Seminoles. Here's Bill Gross. Personal foul, roughing the passer on the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. They're calling it on Ed Stewart, the rollout by Florida State. Ward has so much physical capability. He's just, yeah, that, I think that's a very good call. No very question. late hit. Stewart will have had like two steps before he uh, hit into Charlie Ward. So again, aided by a markoff against the Cornhuskers. Florida State has now advanced the ball down close to the 25-yard line of Nebraska. Uh, now Florida State going with a tight end with two running backs. This is one of the most multiple offenses you'll find in college football, Don. And it all builds around this man, number 17, is Ward. Both hard. He's got it down low, and Tamara Vanover is in for the first score. It's awful simple. It's a straight drop back by Ward. Vanover just runs the deep in. Ward throws it perfectly. This young man is just a freshman in college. Dan Mowry booms the extra point up and through. And Tamaric Vanover, the freshman sensation, gives the Seminoles on the reception a 7 to nothing lead. First quarter, Florida State. Imagine a new car so durable, its paint resists chips and salt and even birds. When scratched, one of its protective coatings actually seals itself. And what's more, it may never need waxing. You know something's changed when even the paint job is a work of art. Intrepid. This changes everything. Outlaw. Lover. Hero, Van Damme, as you've never seen him before. Nowhere to run, rated R. At theaters January 15th. design a communications network to actually help them run better. Do you know what they told us? Everybody hates the eat and run. We'd rather take it slow. 
But the way this life is going Gotta grab your food and go And when all that running round Catches up with you at last Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer And you'll feel better fast For acid indigestion Or heartburn with headache Nothing's faster or more effective than Alka-Seltzer Get yourself some Alka-Seltzer And you'll feel better fast Only as directed a Few Good Men, winner of five Golden Globe nominations, including Best Picture, Best Actor, Tom Cruise, Best Supporting Actor, Jack Nicholson, and Best Director, Rob Reiner. A Few Good Men, rated R, at theaters now. Freshman Tamarik Vanover in the end zone with the first score of the night. A 25-yard touchdown pass play, Charlie Ward delivered the ball right on the numbers. And now Coach Bowden's favorite Seminoles hold a 7-0 lead as they're ready to kick the ball off. Tyrone Hughes and Corey Dixon are back deep. Ball is going to Hughes. This is the fastest Cornhusker with the ball. And Hughes takes it ahead close to the 22-yard line. And here comes Tommy Frazier to try to get the Huskers going. And Don, back to the touchdown. Here is the receiver who catches it, but we got double blitz, Tackle and the two safeties two, here Abraham. are covering these running backs. What it does is isolate Vanover on the corner at the top of the screen. It's a mismatch, and Charlie back. Ward, no play back. action fake, puts no, it right on the money. As you said, down, easy score, 25 yards for Florida State. And that's a punch to the psyche of this Nebraska Whoa. team. Here's a fumble. Alvin Jones falls on his own ball back at the 11. That was the first first quarter touchdown that Nebraska's allowed this season. Dan Footman was Nebraska the guy football. putting the rush on. I think this is on Frazier. Look how high he throws that ball. The idea is you pitch that ball back to the stomach of the receiver. And uh, there's uh, only a couple, three yards between the quarterback and Calvin Jones. You've got to put it in the stomach. That one's on the freshman, Tommy Frazier. Now second down comes up, and Frazier goes to the run, and Calvin Jones, very quick with good leg power, breaks tackles, gets ahead to the 18-yard line. Now will we have a moment? Let's go to Jim Lampley in New York. Jim? All right, Don, it's over in Pasadena as Michigan holds off Washington 38-31. This 88-yard touchdown run by Tyrone Wheatley, the second of his three TDs on the day. All in all, 15 carries, 235 yards for Wheatley. And 30 years after Southern Cal 42 and Wisconsin 37, the Rose Bowl has its most entertaining game in three decades. Don? A lot of points. And we have points early here as Florida State has gone in front 7 to nothing. Now Nebraska's Frazier looking to throw on third down, needs 13. That's close. I mean, Frazier trying to pump a fastball in between some defenders to Trumain Bell, but he wasn't close to a connection. And now Trump. Good field position could await the Seminoles. Donna, I think I just saw Nebraska in the shotgun. That may be heresy in the Big Eight. What are they doing in the shotgun? My have has this game changed. Sawyer, the problem with the Nebraska style of play, when they get behind and have to go to a pass game, over the years they've not had one. Usually, over the years, they started with the lead, build on it, it got bigger. Here's a long kick downfield to Corey Sawyer. Sawyer looks for a gap and dives out to the 33-yard line. 58-yard punt, an 8-yard return. So a critical defensive play now coming up for Nebraska. they got to stop him. Can't someone pick up my phone? Terry here. Please hold. Federal Express, I need to check on a package fast. Keep holding, please. I hear Mr. Carey down the hall. Your package Only Federal Express can confirm delivery in seconds. Other companies can take days. That package was delivered at 9.07, signed for by Mr. Hanson. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Federal Express, our most important package is yours. Nicoderm, nicotine transdermal system by prescription only. I'd heard about the Nicoderm patch, but... When it comes to something like that, I only go to one place for advice. Nicodem, ask your doctor about it. After all, who knows better? Highly sensitive microphones and even stethoscopes were used to isolate noises in the new Intrepid. 
triple sealed doors, specially designed tires, and a unique muffler system were used to quiet them. You said your next car had to be quiet. <coughs> Excuse me. And boy, did we listen. Intrepid. This changes everything. I always rehearse my presentation in front of the bedroom mirror. In front of the bathroom mirror. Who would know better how to make business travelers feel at home than Holiday Inn? That's why more of them stay with us. Holiday Inn. Stay with someone you know who really knows you. It's almost as if someone once said, just in case people like sunshine and water, we'd better make Florida. And we'd better make miles of beautiful beaches and places like St. Augustine and Key West, just in case people want to go to them. There are over 4 million miles of roads in Alamo territory all across America. And nationwide, only Alamo gives you all those miles for free, including the ones that run through a state that's named after sunshine. Why did the Oscar-winning director of Rain Man, Diner, The Natural, Good Morning Vietnam, and Bugsy decide his next story could only be told on television? Find out after the Super Bowl. Barry Levinson's Homicide on NBC. Just wait till you see it. Florida State, looking to move the ball again. The last time they had it, they went 75 yards on ace plays. Charlie Ward to Tamara Vanover on a 25-yard throw for the game's only score. 7-0, seven, seven holes as Ward takes a deep drop and that tries to screen the ball out. A little low for Sean Jackson. And a penalty marker down again. He's had one of those about every other play. Yeah, well, this is against uh, the offense. They had a, a man downfield. That was a screen set up. If he catches the ball, he's still running. There's no penalty. There's no penalty. Disregard the flag. There. We'll, we'll accept that. Okay, thank you very much. They tried to run a screen, and I'm telling you, if the catch can be made, he could probably run, run down to uh, Coral Gables from here. Travis Hill put a big rush on for Coach Osborne's Huskers. Certain times this year, they played as well as any team in America. Out in Colorado. Last in Kansas. And the upset loss at Iowa State set them back. And here's the handoff. Running hard is Sean Jackson. And he's ahead for a first down for Florida Jackson, State. The ball carrier. Tyrone Hughes finally got him, but he did it 14 Hughes. yards downfield. Now, Don, let me make you the defensive coordinator of Nebraska. You've seen the Florida State Seminoles and two backs with a tight end and, and two wide receivers, four wide receivers, and now they've got two backs and three wide receivers with a tight end. I mean, it, there's just down. no Florida way State to tell your defense 47. what to do against all this offense. you got to lock them into a defensive two, a coverage of two, but here it is. Look at it. Three wide receivers and two running backs. Ward steps in. Down the field throw is picked up. Tyrone Bird running with the ball for Nebraska. The game's first turnover. And Tyrone Bird, the Huskers' free safety, looking like the running back standout he was in high school, and he takes it back. And Nebraska takes over on this first turnover, and they were number one in America in turnover ratio. And that's what Coach Osborne thought had to be the key if they were to upset Florida State. They had to win the turnover count. Uh, I guess this is true of all quarterbacks. you got to get burned a few times before you learn you can't throw it late down the middle. It is an adage that has never changed since they started throwing this football. Charlie Ward breaks that rule and he gets it picked off. And now from Nebraska has to do something with the ball. Here's a pitch back. Running with it is Calvin Jones. And the Seminoles, who have such tremendous speed throughout their roster, that even on their defensive line, these guys run. They get a tremendous push, tremendous impetus coming out of that front seven. Well, so far, uh, this offense is not looking good for Nebraska. Uh, Jones and Derek Brown, both 1,000-yard rushers. This team has averaged 328 yards a game coming into this game. They're getting little or nothing running against Florida State. And again, a team that doesn't like to pass is going to be forced into it. Second down and 15, a pitch back to Calvin Jones. He turns it up, turns it ahead, and gets down to the 40-yard line. That'll bring up third down and almost five. Will Shields, the Outland Trophy winner, the tremendous guard, 310 pounds, was the lead blocker. Eric Smith made the stop. Uh, Shields kids, interesting. Uh, you'll see him at right guard. He's right here. He comes out, tries to get Marvin Jones. As again, this is the option, the spin option. 
can't quite get a lick on Marvin Jones. It's uh, something he's looking forward to. Hey, Marvin, you bring your best. I'll bring my best. Let's see what happens. Marvin averages 7.2 yards a carry. Not tonight. Five carries, a total of seven yards for Calvin Jones. Corey Dixon was the intended receiver. He's their speed receiver, and Corey Sawyer made the stop for Florida State. So that's just a game top, as you know, a 5.8 per carry average, but so far their running game has been pretty much shut down and has been again in this series. Yeah, and uh, trailing 7 nothing, the downside is they average just over 100 yards passing a game, and all of their passing is tied to the option stuff. Uh, you, you saw Frazier kind of roll out. They've got to threaten the option on every play. That's Corey Sawyer back to return the punt. They think he could be in the Deion Sanders, Terrell Buckley category as both a cornerback and a uh, punt returner. Mike Stiggy, one of the nation's best. He has a net punting average of almost 42 yards. That one was for just 31, though. And Florida State takes over the ball again with three minutes and 59 seconds to play in the first quarter. And the favorite, Florida State, has taken a 7 to nothing lead. Ball mark. This symbol outside means you have the standard inside that an entire library of software has been written to. The Intel microprocessor. Think of it as a library card that lets you run the software of today and tomorrow. So check out computers with Intel, the computer inside. You're looking at the birth of an entirely new form of antacid. New Mylanta gel caps. Easy to swallow with absolutely no chalky taste. The potency of Mylanta antacid now in a gel cap. My doctor said Mylanta. It has a 10-cylinder, 400-horsepower engine and seats up to seven. It hits over 1G on a skid pad and has an available built-in child seat. Its front fenders resist dents and chips. It has 133 sound deadeners, silencers, baffles, and mufflers. And there's room in back for 49 bags of groceries. Caravan. Viper. And Intrepid. The new Dodge. We all count on our batteries to get us through. But you never know when they're going to hit the skids. Only Duracell has the Copper Top Battery Tester. So you can be sure your batteries will keep you gliding along. You can't talk. The Copper Top. An all-new Eyewitness video Sunday on NBC. Eyewitness a powerboat out of control. Meet the lucky survivor. Then see a hotel employee caught stealing from a guest. And experts were baffled by these mysterious circles. For the first time ever, the mystery is solved. Then a copter flies dangerously close to a terrifying twister. Those videos and more. An all-new Eyewitness video NBC Sunday. Our overhead shots tonight are from the Goodyear Blimp Stars and Stripes based in Papano Beach, Florida. At the controls is Captain Jim Maloney. And Captain Maloney is from Vienna, Virginia. A balmy night in South Florida. Temperature in the mid-70s. Winds gusting up to 10 miles an hour. Nebraska moving into the wind. Didn't bother them that one possession when they went. 75 yards in eight plays. And they lead the game by a 7-0 count. Nebraska had good field position. Ends around. Tamara Vanover turns the field. And turns up on the corners. And Tamara Vanover has a man to beat. And he beats him. One man has a shot at Vanover. The great freshman, 91 yards. He's in the end zone again. Whoa! He stepped out, Don. I think he stepped out of bounds. Yeah, they're starting the ball back at the 33-yard line. A wasted trip, but it was exciting. Right in front of the Florida State bench. He's making the corner. The next two steps are critical. Oh, his toe looks like it just hit the white part of the floor of the Orange Bowl. So instead of a 91-yard touchdown run on the end around, it becomes a 24-yard run. Here he is right here. Now watch what happens at the bottom of the screen. The defender keeps running down the field. Kenny Wilhite, he doesn't even realize the reverse is coming. That's where he steps out. 
That off the 24-yard run is a disappointment. That one was. Now turning wide and not getting far is Sean Jackson. That's a good penetration from outside linebacker Trev Alberts. And inside backer Mike Anderson of Nebraska. Well, you suppose uh, Nebraska's defense now is sitting there saying, and these fellas are quick. These fellas is fast. I'm not sure we got the defense to handle these guys all night long. That could have been a game breaker if that play went. And Tamar Vanover not stepped out of bounds, but he's a threat to go the distance every down. He's on the field. He's out right now getting a breather. I mean, it's Matt Fryer playing the wide open top of the screen. Not nearly the speed, but great hands. Gary Ward takes a look. They hem him in. He's looking. He's got nothing, and they get him at the 31-yard line. Well done by the Husker defense, and again, Trev Albert. A quick outside backer. Number 34 was the tackler. And Don, if we can look and see what the defense is here exactly, here are the six defensive backs. One, two, three, four, five, and the sixth is right there. Here's the spy in a four-man front for Nebraska. That's how they're trying to uh, combat this Florida State offense, and they have three wide receivers and two running backs, and it actually works pretty well right here. And that brings up third down and 12 now. Ward sets in that fast break. And they get him and lose him. Still on the run. You've got to throw a net over this guy. Like Manbrake, he finds his way out of locked rooms, but this time the pass is incomplete. And Sean Jackson, the intended receiver, couldn't hold on. Great defensive stop. It's uh, designed to be a screen. Excellent pressure, pressure coming from the outside. It's Dante Jones that originally flushes him out. Ward stays with the play. And just an incomplete pass. A very big defensive stop from. On the way to that defensive stop, you'll remember a 91-yard touchdown run was called back. Oh, they're going to run the ball. Nebraska's in a complete return. And with E running for the first down is Wimberly, the punter. And there's another penalty marker down. They watched Nebraska earlier. Those down linemen spreaded back to get in blocking formation for the return. John Wimberly ran unopposed for 18 yards before they stopped him. Might you know, be, though, against the FSU Trump. Yeah, but you know, this was not a designed run. The ball, the punt was almost blocked. Wimberly does an excellent job of keeping his head here. Hey, the Nebraska... Guys cleared out, getting back downfield to try to block for the punt returner, Tyrone Hughes. Flipping on the offense, the 15-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, still fourth down. Cowart is the guilty party. Uh, 93, Cowart is the guy who comes up with the clip. Uh, block in the back, no question about it. So, Wimberly has to punt again, and I have a feeling this time Nebraska will be making sure that the punter is covered. Well, they're coming with a 10-man rush. Tremendous punt by Wimberly into the wind. Going back is Tyrone Hughes. It takes a Nebraska bounce, starts the other way. And the Seminoles quickly down the ball at about the 19-yard line. A 49-yard punt, and that was into that gusting wind coming out of the north. A wind that could bring rain before this night is over. Sunday be with NBC Sports when we bring you the opening round of the NFL playoffs. Warren Moon and the Houston Oilers travel to Buffalo to take on Thurman Thomas and the Bills in an AFC wild card game. The winner advancing to the divisional playoffs. The loser out for the season. So make NBC Sports your home for the playoffs starting this weekend and going straight, straight through to the Super Bowl. It all starts at 12 noon on Sunday. With NFL Live. And the Oilers and the Bills. Nebraska again tries to run, and again, Calvin Jones is not quick enough to elude that super-fast defensive front of Florida State. Sanders on the stop. There's the offensive line of Florida State sitting over there. They're in certainly in excellent condition running this fast break offense, but so far, uh, minor misfires. Just produced seven points for Florida State's offense. It's interesting from Bobby Bowden saying that a, a Southern team has a tremendous advantage in bowl games. But from a climate standpoint, the big fan base is here with Florida State. Hard thrown ball taken in by Corey Dixon of Nebraska. Tommy Frazier, a very well thrown ball coming in low so the defense couldn't make a play on it. 
Again, though, you see the, the nice little roll by Frazier just on the side. And I see uh, Marvin Jones on the sideline. Now, I don't think that's out of the ordinary. If Bobby Bowden tries to use 20, 25 guys on his defense, who just wants to keep Jones fresh. Don, no injury. He does have a little bit of a knee problem, but it's it was not expected to limit him. I think he just is getting a breather on the sideline as a pitch back goes to Calvin Jones. And Nebraska runs its offense well for a first down. On a third down and two play, they break it ahead for a gain of seven. One half of the Weebacks, Calvin Jones, the younger of the two, Derek Brown being the other. Uh, he uh, didn't want to tell us a secret, but he owns a dog. It's a Hungarian something. I don't know what it is. Vishla. All right, thank you very much. But the dog's name is Heisman. He didn't want us to know that. He found out. He paid big money for the information, Don. He's hoping for that. He shot at it next year. He's certainly a contender as he runs hard into the Florida State defense. Now Osborne says of his quarterback, Tommy Frazier, he's really still learning the business, but he has remarkable poise. And you have to run him down the line options against these big hitters from Florida State. When you rent from Hertz in Florida, you get more than a great car at a great rate. The real bargain is the company behind the car. Because whatever it takes to make your vacation go smoothly, Hertz is there to make it happen. From emergency road service that's as close as a phone to free unlimited mileage. Think about it. Next time you're in Florida, wouldn't you feel better with Hertz behind you? Hertz, we're America's wheels. Hexina's Rules of Dating, number three. Keep the conversation interesting. Shut up. You shut up. You shut no, up. No, you shut up. Hexed. Dork. Rated R. At theaters January 22nd. During the Roman era, 28 was considered old. In the 1800s, 60 was over the hill. Ah, you go. This Magnavox portable CD player with pure digital sound is the best thing to take on vacation. Unless you compare it with this clever Magnavox 5-inch TV. Great pictures of anywhere. Course, the best is this compact yet intelligent Magnavox camcorder with autofocus. Unless you take this Magnavox 3-inch LCD TV which connects to my camcorder so I can watch my vacation on the ride home. Looks as though I had a pretty good time. The ingenious products from Magnavox. They're smart. Very smart. A Few Good Men, winner of five Golden Globe nominations, including Best Picture, Best Actor, Tom Cruise, Best Supporting Actor, Jack Nicholson, and Best Director, Rob Reiner. A Few Good Men, rated R, at theaters now. The Oilers. The Bills. Last Sunday in the Astrodome, the Oilers welcome back Warren Moon as they banged up the Bills. Now the scene shifts to Buffalo as the defending AFC champions try to keep their Super Bowl dreams alive. The winner advances. The loser is out. The AFC wildcard game, Sunday. Sunday, it's the AFC wildcard game. Oilers and Bills tonight. It's the 59th Federal Express Orange Bowl from South of Miami. And right now, the rains have come down hard. This was forecast that it's come to pass, and there could be balls on the field. Rain brings fumbles. Frazier with a great fake, and then he gives to Lance Lewis, who drives straight ahead. He may have lost it, but Nebraska fell on the ball. It's a first down for the Huskers at the 46-yard line of Florida State. 16-yard gain. Lance Lewis is kind of the Nebraska lost guy of the running backs here for Nebraska. Excellent job again up front. Big block by with the offensive line. All of them. You can't pick anybody out. But I was going to say Will Shields, but he was one of several big blocks recovered by the center. Jim Scott. Number 51. They say Jim Scott, but he's as good as any center they've ever had at Nebraska. They had some great ones like Dave Remington. He was an trophy winner. Frazier, reverse pitch. This is Corey Dixon on the run. 
One of the fastest Huskers breaks it inside the 30, knocked down inside the 20, and Corey Dixon working hard all the way down to the 12-yard line. Some big blocks on the way. 35-yard gain on the play. John Ned, defending performance. Excellent call. You see, again, watch this right guard. It's Will Shields. He's going to make a big block. It's the pivot again, and then the reverse pitch, which works beautifully. This is a very aggressive Florida State defense. See if you can pick up 75. Top right portion of the screen. He should appear about now. There's the Outland Trophy winner, 35 yards downfield to make a block. And Chris Zizda also had a big block for the Huskers. But now they have their best challenge of this game, trailing 7-0 early in the second quarter. Frazier jumping over people, pitching back. It might have been picked. That might be Florida State's ball. I think Derek Brooks caught it at the same time the running back did. It looks though like they're pointing at Nebraska's football. But Derek Brooks, number 10 there on the ground, he comes back, and I think they both catch it at the same time. Like a tie in favor of the runner. Again, it's the reverse pivot by Frazier. When he jumps up here, it destroys the timing, but watch number 10. I'm not so sure that Derek, Derek Brooks didn't catch that ball, and they give it to the offense. That's a break for Nebraska. Alvin Jones running hard but not much success. Nine carries, just 20 yards. He averages seven to a pop during the season. Now Tommy Frazier makes a wise move, not wanting to blow a scoring opportunity. He didn't like the defense, so he wants to go over and check it out with the coaching staff. Seminoles continue to lead seven to nothing. You're sure no one else has this? No way, Chief. It's the next big thing from Japan. Yeah, we found it first. We ordered 50,000 of them from Tokyo. They'll be here in a week. A week? A week. And no one could get it here faster. Santa couldn't get them here faster. Federal Express can with Express Freighter. The only way to get shipments from around the world sent overnight to you by 10.30 the next morning. By this time next week, everybody in the company's going to know our name. <laughs> <laughs> Santa couldn't get them here faster. Express Freighter. If you don't use it, your competition will. Comfort in a four-wheel drive. Amazing. I got a big crew, and I need a lot of space. It makes me feel tall. It's tough, but refined. Kind of like me. It's got it all. Why do more people find themselves in a Ford Explorer than any other vehicle in its class? For as many reasons as there are Explorers. Finders keepers. Find yourself in an Explorer. Drixoral is. Sudafed isn't. Drixoral is. Contact isn't. 12-hour long prescription strong Drixoral is the one cold medicine pharmacist have recommended most for 10 years. Take it from your pharmacist. Take Drixoral. Nicoderm. Nicotine transderm system by prescription only. I'd heard about the Nicoderm patch, but uh, when it comes to something like that, I only go to one place for advice. Nicoderm. Ask your doctor about it. After all, who knows better? The Federal Express Orange Bowl is brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Nobody's cooking like today's KFC. By the Discover Card. It pays to discover the card that pays you back. By Lay's Potato Chips. One taste and you'll cash in your old chips. And by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? Bob Trumpy and John Dockery, this is Don Crickey back at the Federal Express Orange Bowl in Miami. Florida State on defense leads 7-0. Nebraska with its best challenge. Second down coming up now. Straight ahead power dive. Jones takes the ball down close to the six-yard line. They have another thousand-yard rusher in addition to Calvin Jones and Derek Brown. But I don't think he's been on the field yet, Trump. He no, he's not. He's got a bad shoulder. There's Derek Brown. He's had very little contact even down here in Miami. Uh, the running game turning around a little bit here now for Nebraska. In the first quarter, they had just 21 yards rushing. In this drive here, they've had 57 on four carries. Third down. Huskers need five. Frazier throws. He's got a man, but they can't make the connection. Calvin Jones was the intended receiver. The ball seemed to be there a bit behind him, perhaps. So the Huskers, who look to have a touchdown, lose it. And now they'll send out the field goal unit. 
Pressure from Marvin Jones as you look at it uh, very up close. Uh, the roll by Frazier. Marvin Jones should appear right there. Hands up right through the hand of Calvin Jones. He's used to lugging it, not catching it. He's only caught 13 balls all season. Leading receiver for Nebraska only has 14 receptions. Aaron Bennett, as you see, 7 of 10 on field goal attempts this year. Wayne abates a bit. And he swings it up, and it looks to be good. They're ruling it no good. It's wide left. So Nebraska, down close twice, fails to score both times. Once in a fourth and one, they were stopped. Now in a field goal drive. And the Seminoles continue to lead 7 to nothing. Uh, you know, I don't imagine Florida State has any sympathy for any team kicking to that goalpost in this stadium. You know? Yeah, that's the heartbreak end of the field for the Seminoles. Let's go down to John Dockery. John? And Trump, you're absolutely right. It was on that 29-yard uh, line, left side, looking into the open uh, end of the Orange Bowl, that Florida State missed that field goal wide right. Remember the one two months ago against Miami? They lost 19-16. Their only loss of the year. And just think, had that ball been a couple of yards left, what Florida State might be playing for on this New Year's night. Thank you, guys. receiver around again. This is, of course, this is Tamaric Vanover running again, and Vanover again breaks it across the 45-yard line. <laughs> and all the way to the 47-yard line. They had a 29-yard gain. It's unusual to run two reverses and have them both produce yards like this, but it's beautifully handy, handled, and... Vanover does an excellent job here of avoiding a defender. Unbelievable foot speed on this Florida State football team. In fact, Tom Osborne is a little sensitive about it. When you talk to him about the speed when he comes down here to play the Orange Boys, he says, hey, all coaches recruit speed. We recruit speed. We just can't get them all out of Florida like Florida State does. Eric Vanover has never been a sophomore Heisman Trophy winner. He's going to be a contender next year. He's a downfield throw to Fryer. And there's an interference call down at the five-yard line. The ball sailed over the head of the antenna receiver, Matt Fryer. John Reese, who was beaten on the touchdown play by Vanover earlier, may be guilty of pushing. Ball way underthrown. I think he's saying the ball was overthrown, not catchable. You're going to pick up the flag, Don. There's no foul. The ball was ruined. The receiver with a nice little move and here's the contact and the ball is it's a good fight well now wait a minute that's a lot closer on what review was that yeah that, that's a lot closer when you look at it the second time that is certainly limited contact if there was any but Reese was not looking back for the football and Fryer was trying to get back to the football anyway no flag Second down. Charlie Ward has now put the ball up 13 times on catches. Has completed six for 56 yards. One touchdown, one interception. Oh, a throw to Charlie Ward. He's on the run inside the 35, and Charlie Ward is all the way down to the 22-yard line. Alabama used to run that. Notre Dame used to run it. John Jackson took the pitch. Threw the ball back to his QB, and the game is 28 yards. So let's see, uh, what haven't we seen here? We've seen two reverses. Now the reverse pass to the quarterback. John Elway made this famous in the NFL. Ward, an excellent runner. We know that. Uh, we haven't seen a quarterback sneak yet from Florida State. I think we've seen just about everything else. They've been a dominant offensive team in this game, but have a 7 to nothing lead. It could be bigger any time. Oh. Throw downfield, and Charlie Ward comes in a bit high, and the gusting winds behind him is certainly going to affect the flight of the ball. He was looking at Kez McCorvey. Well done here. Nice fake. Again, Ward showing great maturity. Looks to the right, comes back to the left. Didn't set his feet properly, Don. I'm sure Pat Kennedy, the basketball coach when you shoot you've got to set your feet properly you have his feet set right to make that throw big cheer as Alabama's gone in front of Miami right now Trump boards have a trouble making connection yeah five straight incompletions <laughs> well thrown ball but Shannon Baker coming off the right flank couldn't hold on 
It's a wet ball that's coming in. The rain is much lighter now than it was, but it's still raining. They get six straight incompletions. Baker just on the slant. You see the man coverage by Nebraska. And uh, there's Tyrone Hughes, 33. He plays the free safety in the dime. And uh, with, you see the thing on his, he got hit in the ribs, but Shannon Baker on his shin, he has a, an irritation on his shin that has that is really bothered him down here in Miami. He hasn't been able to practice much and, and run two to four. So that's now six consecutive incompletions by quarterback Ward of the Seminoles. He's looking deep again. There he goes. And a tremendous defensive play. John Perella diving at him. The defensive end, number 92. Stopped Charlie Ward from going a long way. Maybe the distance. And boy, Don, they sure have this Nebraska defense separated all over the place. I mean, there's man coverage behind it, and these defensive tackles like Perella got to make desperation dive tackles on the heels of the quarterback. This is uh, Maui's lucky year. He's had a lot of luck. 10 of 18 field goals has he made this season. 40-yard attempt here. He spins it up, looking good all the way. Oh, yeah. It is. Sure. The Seminoles extend their lead to 10 to nothing. Yeah, sure, right. Uh-huh. This is no big deal. Yeah, right. We'll be back with the Florida State kickoff in a moment. Seems that some boys just don't know how to play nice. So you want to play tough? Introducing the bold new Ford Ranger. You say you want to play me. Well, if you're going to play tough, Ford got the right machine, yeah. With this brand new body, Ranger's just not playing fair. Starting now, your photos have the power of television. Introducing the Kodak Photo CD. You won't believe your heart. You won't believe your eyes. Your pictures taken with your current film and camera, transferred onto a new kind of compact disc, and shown on TV. The special Photo CD player also plays audio CDs. Your pictures have never been so powerful. The new Kodak Photo CD system. You've got to see it. Want to run all your software fast? Then look for the Intel Inside symbol on your next computer. It says you've got a real power source on the inside. Like the upgradable Intel 486 microprocessor. Power it up and run your software. At light speed. Intel, the computer inside. No, Uber, not in your mouth. Uber? Uber, is there anything you won't put in your mouth? Here, have a potato chip instead. Tired of those burnt, spotted, ordinary chips? Now that Lay's has created a chip so perfectly golden, nothing less will do. Today's Lay's. Yummy. One taste and you'll cash in your old chips. Sharp claws. Van Damme takes no prisoners. There's no room. In a world television breakout, Jean-Claude Van Damme is locked.